Hey, this is my mom of the sub, man. Hey, Tyler, this is the sub, man. The Jesus, man. And thanks for everyone else, man. Thanks, y'all. Hey, Blues96, thanks for the sub on YouTube. Jesus, man. Just finishing this up. Just open the mic up and gotta start a little, you know. Hey, Crypto Ace, man. Thanks for the Ace sub on YouTube. Jesus, man. Hey Miles, man, thanks so much on YouTube, Jesus, man. Thanks, dude. Hey Perel, thanks so much, man, for the sub on YouTube, Jesus, man. And thanks everyone else, too, that I didn't. Hey Benji, thanks for the sub on YouTube, man. Please, Jesus, man. Thought you never think so much the sub on YouTube, Jesus person. Thank you, man. Lee King Club, thanks so much for the sub on YouTube, the Jesus version. Thanks so much. <laughs> Good evening, traders. Welcome to episode 79 of TA with me, Mitch Ray. You could be doing anything, but you choose to hang out with me and do technical analysis that I'm quite grateful. Thanks for being here. We had a very successful stream today. It was awesome. We were focused, got so much done, so much analysis of multiple coins and stocks around the markets. Today, the S&P 500 closed at all-time highs, as did the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, excuse me. 
been on an insane tear stock market when's it gonna end that's the question right and then if we look at the Shanghai and China lowest lows we've seen since 2016 hey Ruby thanks so much for the sub on YouTube Jesus person thanks so much I know you thank you all for this the ongoing support means everything to these trying troubling times where we try to rebuild something new something that's not new just maybe new on a new platform all right so we broke out of that wedge right <clears throat> and uh, you know touch point one and two up here all right but then we had another set of touch points one two three and then four now with touch point one and two on the bottom pretty sweet looking channel honestly uh, so you know plotted that when we did break out because look you've got to be skeptical something might not be right when you're breaking out of a pattern on crap volume yes it's a little bit higher than your average but it's still pretty crap volume so uh the fact that we did that made me a little skeptical right and so for good reason it seems like we were just respecting some other upward sloping trend lines but not only that if you have horizontal line resistance overhead resistance looking left on candle body closes two of them all right and so we had the wicks here we didn't even touch the wicks we just stayed uh below that horizontal line resistance all right so a lot of it was up there at you know after such a nice run up on meh volume it could be pretty easy to take some of that out but uh, you know it's it's uh nice we had some bearish divergence uh, last night and we've actually disregarded that we now have bullish convergence on the macd okay we were overbought but now we're not. Now we're at 66, pretty hot on the RSI. <laughs> but uh, either way, you know what we're doing right now, uh, breaking down, look how we're testing, back testing that downward sloping resistance that we broke of the Fib channel. Zoom out, we're talking about uh, touch point one and two up here, and then three, four, and five at the bottom. So that's what's happening right now back testing that and that's it man so we're gonna see if this holds we've already uh, back tested a couple times would be interesting to see if we could hold this and then break to the upside and then you know what would that mean well we're out of the wedge but uh, you know we keep floating along this upward sloping trend line right and just as far as we needed to go you know until we maybe start showing some bearish divergence right maybe the next run up we have would be where we got that bearish divergence of any price action reversal of the downside but uh, we don't have that yet okay so uh, above the 200 ma the 20 and the 50 awesome but your faster scale ma's have yet to catch up to that 200 ma hey Faye, thanks so much for the sub on youtube the jesus lady thank you so much Faye. so that's it man let's uh, take a look at chat Thanks again for everyone tuning in on this Tuesday evening. Just a random Tuesday. But Bitcoin pumping, stock market beyond pumping, churning like the Jesus men. What's up, uh, Saffiroth in the house? Coach K, Ultra Instinct Jesus man. That's right, Bradford. Uh, we just need uh, nine more subs now. And then we'll be at 500 subs. Our first milestone ever on this channel would be divine, sharing it with all of you. Hey, we look crypto man. What's up, dude? Nick Brabot, Rob in Moz. His body is ready. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, Jeremy Ragstell says this song's flipping beautiful. Yeah, I like it a lot too, man. It's uh, good. I can't believe I found it on Epidemic, man. But uh, you know, just kind of ran with it at that point. What's up, uh, AP DUP, and then Miss Taxi Driver Zachary Schneider. Hey, what's up, uh, Lee Man, Lee K? Thanks for being here. Oh, there's Renee. Cough for, hey, uh, Renee, cough crypto. It's not you're not coffee for crypto. I know we had the jokes about that, but uh, just got like a huge. We just got like four subs right there. Hey, uh, Christine, thanks so much for the sub on YouTube. The Jesus lady. Hey, GRD, thanks for the sub on YouTube. All right, cool. Very cool. Uh, thank you all so much. 
there are five more subs and we're 500 that's the uh the count all right uh hensley wants neo yeah man for sure put it on the list okay uh but anyway uh renee i know we made the jokes in the past about your name and then like you know you changed it because coffee for crypto and cough crypto were so similar then we also had someone else that was close to coffee something in crypto so uh coffee for crypto on twitch or chris Irwin with Irwin coffee i had to make some changes in my coffee routine because of this uh this man but i have to tell you well worth it here's my first cup ever he had delivered me some uh beans they were not ground so i had to buy a grinder had to buy a you know the k cup thing the on you know the one where it's like not disposable like you reuse it for actual beans and uh, finally got all those materials tonight, having the first cup, Sumatran beans, and it is unreal. So I told him, hey man, if I like it, I'm going to push you, I'm going to shill and pedal some coffee beans. So uh, I can't attest to the Hondura, Honduras uh, coffee, and I can't remember the other one you sent, but uh, man... I can't wait till I get cream. I'm out of creamer, so this with creamer is going to be insane if it's so good black. Thanks, uh, Chris Irwin and Irwin Coffee. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I just had to... I love coffee. Coffee's a big thing to me, and I know it's a big thing to a lot of y'all, all right? It's as big as alcohol or beer. What's up, uh, Crypto Chef? Mr. Kanatomo. Hello, Ryler. And then Rylan right after Ryler. <laughs> Ultra conservative on logo use. Ultra. Am I uh, liberal? Am I extra liberal on my logo use, man? Let me know, Zachary. What's up, uh, Mr. Magoog, man? Ready to put in some work? Me too, man. JD wants some uh, GBT to BTC, says scrubbing out. Uh, I think probably everything's scrubbing out somewhat based on Bitcoin price action. You know, Bitcoin says, I beckon you, the alts come to him, to Bitcoin, the one coin to rule them all, right? Uh, but we put it on the list, JD. We'll look at it. A uh, Entheo film, welcome. ADA, yeah, man, we'll put it on the list and we'll take a look at it, right? Uh, uh, not so much, uh, Mr. Tank Driver. You know, it's, it's, look, the thing about what I do now, I guess, is like, yeah, the managing the stress in between streams. Um, it, it's like, there's something called homeostasis. I'm sure many of you have heard of it, but it's just like your housekeeping level. And it's a big thing when you're talking about managing stress. All right. So, so you get stressed out. Okay, but you have that stress every day. Eventually you get used to it and it just becomes part of your housekeeping mode or your homeostasis. So we all have our homeostasis and then when we get promotions or if uh, we have new variables that come into our lives that become pro a, a process, we have to implement that into our homeostasis. Uh, stress management is very important. Belly breathing, meditation, very, very good tools to help manage your stress. But we won't get into that too much tonight, all right? <laughs> What's up, uh, Savaroth? Jay Birkin. Essex Hammer, come on, England, man. And there's Coffee for Crypto himself, the legend. <sighs> I'm getting hyped on coffee. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to use that word from time to time. It's it's okay, man. What's up, uh, Chaz Garcia? Uh -oh, Mr. Cano is messing. Mr. Cano is messing around with BCN. Be careful, man. Be careful. Last time someone messed with BCN, bad things happen. <sighs> There's er Eric Coffeein. You see what I'm saying? We got Coffeein. We got Cough Crypto. Coffee and Crypto. Oh my God. Hand in hand. Thanks, Lee, man. Oh, there's B Slice. Just uh, checking out chat, still almost done. Hey, Scarrow, man. <sighs> Straight from the start. Yeah, dude, well, hey, man, nothing to celebrate yet, right? Oh, by the way, it would be a, a wizard night. It wouldn't be a Viking night. Uh, just, you know, we just did Viking night on, like, Friday. So, come on, like, back to back. Let's just change it up to wizard. I haven't been a wizard in a while anyway. Probably a couple weeks. I haven't worn the hat. <sighs> Oh, 
Hey, Crypto Hippie, welcome to the chat. Uh, hey, uh, DV. Should start over episode one. Maybe I'll change the name. I might do that. Uh, but you know what's going to happen is like if I kept it like this, I would just, we'll just meme. You know how we meme things. Uh, we'll just call the the 75 that we don't have. We'll just call them the lost 75. All right. And it will just meme it into existence and it will be forever known as the lost 75. All right. What's up, uh, Modified Mafia? King Kang Logan, oh my god. Let's just go ahead and pause the music, play our specs, or pay our specs, but play. Jesus Jumps, there you go. <laughs> That's the respects to the Jesus people. We do it every show, alright? One at least once. What's up, Adam? Drist? Drish, you're going on a vacation, right? A really, really nice, exotic place, I believe. Didn't, is that what you said or something? <sighs> hey, Rachel H. Welcome, Boston Alpha. Good to see you, man. Uh, GRT, man. Uh, you notice this is like my channel now, right? So the chances of me moving again are literally like none now. So <sighs> day two, first milestone, freaking epic, exactly, Bradford. And there's Crypto Kiwi. Welcome. The Sauron Hobbit Jesus Man, whichever side you're on, Crypto, crypto Kiwi Man. That is between you and a Jesus Man. All right. Whether you're for Middle Earth to be owned and ruled by Sauron or, you know, humans and elves and dwarves. All right. I don't judge either way, okay? Hey, uh, what's up, uh, Justin, man? Uh, no, not yet. We got four more, so it's uh, it'll be a minute, all right? Oh, my God, I'm behind on chat. Holy crap. I'm, I'm scrolling as fast as I can, so if I miss something, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, what's up, uh, Dwayne, man? Are we Kangs yet? We're Kangs, somewhat, but, you know, got some serious resistance up here, man. It's going to be very tough to crack, but if we do it, we better do it on volume. Otherwise, we are probably screwed. Inverse Kangs, all right? What's up, uh, Cryptico? <clears throat> Coffee from Costa Rica, man. We just have this awesome blend of all kinds of stuff. I don't even, I've never even blended coffee before, like different beans. Now I have the ability to do that. I think that's really cool. And I'm really looking forward to it. Experimenting. All right. Hey, Crypto Toyga. Welcome. <sighs> all right, man. Sorry, just so behind. I'll get there. Hey, Anthony Rossano. P. Miller. What's up, dude? 401 Crypto, dude. He likes coffee and turtles. We'll, we'll do a new segment on it at 6. All right. Don't know what y'all are talking about. Thanks, uh, Mrs. Capadapa. Oh, my God. Mrs. Capadapa is in the house. Another Jesus lady. Oh, my God. Tell uh, Mr. Capadapa we send our best. All right. All right. Hey, uh, 305 BMX. Happy to have you, man. Joey, I, good to see you too, brother. Okay, so that's it. A uh, lot of resistance up here, upward sloping and horizontal. They are converging or confluent. And we've got that 50% retrace above that at 7,200 roughly, which, uh, you know, is a common retracement. No, there's nothing wrong with it, nothing weird about it. Uh, that's somewhere that could possibly be tested at some point in the near future, uh, depending on how well we can hold this back test of the channel we broke out of, the Fib channel we broke out of, all right? Okay. Let's go to Ethereum. Take a look. Not near as eventful for Ethereum, but, uh, you know, stuff's happening in the very short-term scheme of things, all right? Touch point one and two and three on the top. This is what's going on. You're not making higher highs. You're not even testing this wick here. You're just making lower highs, uh, having a run. I guarantee you it's all because of Bitcoin. You know, Ethereum should owe all its, its success in this small rally to Bitcoin's pump, all right? As well as a lot of these other cryptos. Oh yeah, they're just randomly uh, amazing, right? No, they're just following Bitcoin's price action, a lot of them. Okay, so uh, that's great in the short term. That is the short term condition of Ethereum. 
struggling at just trying to break one higher high. Uh, you know, since then though, you zoom out in the midterm, you can see a disgusting downside channel we've been in since May 5th. And then if we look deeper, we can see here's the same channel, but if we zoom out some more, we can clearly see the more longer term trend that's going on right now. Okay. Pretty gross. Just downward sloping. I have not hit the 1272 yet. There, I think there's a great possibility we could still go down there and test those levels. I don't think what we're holding right now is very is that strong. Though it, it could be the bottom. Yeah, the bottom's in, man. Could be. Uh, you just never know. So you try not to like catch the bottoms all the time. Now you can, you know, the swing trades and all that, the day trades, finding those supports. But uh, to say that we might have a trend reversal going on now uh, would be naive at best because we don't know if the trend's reversing at all. This is nothing, okay? The only good thing you got was a stupid amount of volume, all right? A fight between the, the bears and the bulls to keep us within the parameters of this downward sloping channel to keep us above the heart line of the overall very large channel that stems back to all-time highs around, you know, 1420 in January. January. For the Spanish, all right. I like uh, so much respect in this Fib channel. You got to be happy about it. Just not happy if you're bullish or bearish. Just happy from a technical standpoint, all right. <sighs> Chris Irwin, man, uh, can you tell me a little bit more, man? Like, so isn't it true? Like, <clears throat> if you have like a dark roast coffee. That means it's burnt, not burnt, but it's like roasted longer. So that means there's less caffeine in it. So it's not going to make you as amped up. Let me know, man, because it isn't like light roast is inverse. It's got like the most caffeine because it's been like roasted the least amount of time. Uh, trying to just understand. And then what is Sumatran if it is like that? Like you would have some Sumatran beans. And then you could have a light roast, a dark roast of the Sumatran. Is that how we you would do it? Would like to know. Uh, thanks a lot, Chris Irwin, the Jesus man. <sighs> Three more subs. Ethereum making lower lows than their previous lows and just farting around in a very, very small, short-term little channel. Right now, after a huge impulse down, a pretty lackluster rally and bounce. Just bad. Okay, so... We could run all the way. Look, here's the thing. What's so weird about it. We could run all the way up to like $428 or maybe less, maybe like 400 bucks at some point and test the top trend line of the channel and still be in a bear trend midterm. That's telling you something. That's telling you how bad you are, how weak you are. All right. Okay, let's go do uh, Ethereum, which uh, they it's been doing a lot better. Okay, you see this channel where, you know, Ethereum's at the bottom of it, almost fell out, fell out on the Bitfinex chart. Um, towards the back end of it, we've got XRP, which is actually its channel. There was the same time frame. Actually, I think this one was a little bit longer. Uh, 420 here was the top, and then 5, 5, May 5th was the top for Ethereum. And we broke this. But something to be concerned about and to understand is the volume was pretty lackluster. I mean, nothing really sticks out as a huge breakout. Oh my goodness, this rally is going to continue. Not certain. Because we're not even technically making uh, higher highs than our previous highs. This was like a, a more major swing high. We're not even making higher highs than that. Uh, we haven't even tested the 200 MA yet. We have not even tested the horizontal line resistance of that previous candle body high close. That will be used as... Uh, adversity but if we could break that uh, 37 cent mark right there could have a very nice run up the measure move of the descending triangle that we broke out of was at 39.7 cents but uh, just because you have measure moves it doesn't mean that you're gonna stop there you could very well hit that uh, pull back a little bit and then run again uh, back to more formidable levels of resistance right here there's nothing this is no man's land if you break this area here that's not very strong as a resistance you have a very very smooth sailing all the way up to that 42 cent range again all right so just keep that in mind okay so that's ripple broken out of a channel that extends back to uh to 420 <sighs> what's up with these uh 
these finding these tops at uh, holidays, man. It's the uh, George Washington strategy by the whales. Okay. We haven't checked like one in a while, uh, JD. Yeah, we can put it on the list, man. Not a big deal. All right, dude. We got it on the agenda for the evening, JD. There's Julia. Welcome, Julia, the Jesus lady. AP DUP says he's a coffee roaster himself, amateur, home roaster. Amateur or professional, doesn't matter, man. Uh, but let me, I want to find out what y'all are talking about with the coffee. Because I think it's an interesting uh, topic of conversation for many. Because I guarantee you, at least half the viewers enjoy a nice, tasty, hot beverage every now and then, all right? I don't, uh, we'll see. I'm trying to, see, I'm looking for, uh, Coffee for Crypto. I don't know if he's talking on, uh, YouTube or not, or, or a Twitch. Do I think ONT to the US dollar will recover? Um, I'm not sure, man. I can put it on the list, though. I can guarantee you that, uh, Crypto Toyga. <laughs> Driz vacation his butt. Oh my god, that's funny. That's seriously funny. We got some belated birthdays for Julia. Just getting through the chat, all right? Waiting and sifting through. Two more subs, y'all. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can, I can tweet now, and it will post my actual YouTube tweeting. Hopefully, it works. If not, I'm screwed. Oh well. Sumatran is not a roast. It, yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I mean, though. Uh, it's like you have the beans, but you would roast the beans. <sighs> Reverse Kangs? That's right, Boston Alpha. We need volume, like, desperately at this point. When you're at critical areas resistance, man, gotta get the volume to get you over the goal line, man. The lighter the roast, the more caffeine. Okay. Well, then I need to know what uh, what roast this is from Coffee for Crypto or Chris Irwin. <sighs> okay. So let's uh, move on. It looks like we're going to be going to Neo first. No problem, man. That's right. I don't know if we should do the tether or just the regular because, like, historical data is nice, right? Always really nice to have that. Okay, I think what we're just gonna do is go to Bitrix, go to the US dollar because we've got, uh. All right, that's where we got a lot of historical data. I think I should be using Neo to the US dollar for Bitrix from now on for Neo. Dang, that's a lot. It's awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do real quick. Yeah, we got the channel. That's great, man. Got these fibs. That's great. So let's uh, just mess around. And see, we got just more info here, right? Okay, so let's just mess around. Okay, that's what you do. You mess around. And you're engaging with a chart for the first time. And you see what could work, what wouldn't work, right? We'll see if we could use the candle body close and not the wig because uh, that's how you check your math. That's why you have the 25% trend line, the 50%, 75%. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. So we're disregarding the wick using the candle body. CCC probes, man! Oh. 
SSS Air Probes tipped $59.58. Happy belated birthday, Julia, and happy belated housewarming, brother. Hey, uh, Probes, appreciate that, man. The Jesus contribution, dude. Fifty nine fifty eight. Uh, love you, man. And, uh, Mother Russia! But, uh, on all seriousness, man, wish you, wishing you well, a recovery. Okay. For your, uh, the surgery you had. And, uh, yeah, man, all the best on your side, okay? Hopefully I can be some source of entertainment for you. Maybe throw, get you some jokes, some laughs, maybe some cries. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thanks, probes, man. <sighs> Some threes for you. Hey, uh, Zebra, thanks for the 3 3 3 repeating of Kois. Our chances of survival. Thanks, man. Uh, seriously, thank you, dude. So, uh, you know, with this being maybe what's being interpreted, we got uh, all kinds of respect on the 75% trend line, the heart line, crazy, and then the 25% uh, trend line. As you can see, it was used as resistance here, support here, resistance here. All right, and now we're just floating around uh, within the parameters of the 100% and the 25% trend line. All right, so that being said, now we can look for a more short-term trend, right? Now, you know, I know there was a wedge, but on this, I know we like broke out of it barely momentarily and came back. So how do we uh, do this again? I'm trying to remember, because I've done Neo a bunch of times, but uh, it's just been, you know, you just do it so many times. Like, oh yeah, th that's what's going on. Yep, okay. Deja freaking vu, man. I like I've charted Neo on every exchange at this point. <laughs> okay, so that's, uh, that's what's going on, right? So you got touch point one and two and three and four. And then you have touch point five at the top. Then you have the crazy respect of the heart line here. And we broke out of it. We have recently broken it like Ripple broke out of its, right? This uh, extends back to April 30th. Pretty big deal, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. But not that great, okay? Not that great. Swing low to swing high. Okay, uh, this way we didn't even touch the uh, the one six one eight man. Between we pivoted between the one six one eight and the one four one four. Interesting. Hmm. But uh, we might be uh, you know you could probably do the see if there's any kind of confluence. Huh. Yeah, there is confluence right there. Okay, so we have a lot of confluence right at the uh, 1272, that 2229 area. That's going to be a strong freaking resistance right there. Big time. Okay. Uh, and that's approaching. We have not tested that yet. We have not tested that or the 200 MA yet. Just like Ripple is fast approaching a very strong resistance. Weird. So Ripple and Neo both broke out of crazy downward sloping channels that extend back. Uh, to April and then that neither of them have tested those critical areas of resistance yet, but are soon approaching it. All right weird commonality between Two coins Wow That's what's fun sometimes doing you know just doing this So for now touch point one and two on the bottom side and then one at the top and we're just right above that uh, that heart line of the channel Okay, so that's uh, really the way I'm interpreting this in the very short term of shorts. This is what's going on. After a huge impulse down, warpward sloping, not making very good retracements though from this swing high to swing low. You're probably at the 236. That's it. So it's like nothing. Uh, so <clears throat> you've got a long journey ahead of you, and I know that this uh, downward sloping trend line will be a tough resistance, but you got one coming up right at 2242. That's going to be tough to break. Not going to be easy. Okay. What's up, Wolves, man? 
Good to see Glad you. Glad to see you're well, mate, Mr. Buddy. Can you look at that plaza, mate? Oh, well. Unleash wolves, of course we can. Had a little breakdown, it seems. But yeah, man, we'll get it right now. All right. But no big deal on the breakdown. Uh, that was kind of, you, you'd expect something like that. I'd preferably like us to break down like we're doing now than just to go straight up and uh, hit target and then crash or tank. <sighs> okay, remember Bitrix, man. It's like the most data on this one. So that's it. That's what's going on right now on NEO to the US dollar. It's a good event. That moon boy would be proud. Okay, so this is what's going on. Yes. Why did we fail? Right around that 618. And that's it, man. You uh you had no resistance except the 618. If you didn't have your fibs plotted, there's a really good chance you wouldn't even have known why we fell to retrace to touch those 20 MAs, maybe the 50, and maybe to back test this upper trend line of the, the wedge. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. A milestone has been breached or something. Thank you all so much. First milestone, one of many, many milestones to come. Again, I could not do any of this without you. You are the community. And uh, again, I'm nothing without y'all. So that's it. So I don't even know what to do. Um, seldom do we ever <clears throat> hit milestones midstream. All right, we're 41 minutes into the stream. Not sure what to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Give me a second. I gotta handle some stuff. <clears throat> Just scrolling up real quick on chat. Alright, we're good. Hey, what's up, uh, Danny, man? Danny Armada, welcome. Glad you're here. I really do appreciate that, man. Oh, my God. Nice to see you, bud. I've been away for a while, but glad to see you're going strong. Hey, uh, Brendan, dude. Good seeing you again, man. Where you been, dude? I know you life comes at us. And it, it comes and goes. It gets easier, harder, easier, harder, right? So, um... Uh, Man, thanks for uh, chiming in, and thanks for the three dollars and thirty-three cents. But uh, more importantly, thanks for being here, and uh, glad you found me, man. Thanks, brother, man. You've been around since the beginning. I really appreciate you. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah. Bulkowski is giving some uh, education on your road trip tonight. What does that mean, Crypto Cotta? What does that mean, indeed? Thanks, Boston Alpha. Appreciate that, man. Really do appreciate that. Okay, so anyway, um, 20 MA, you're about to touch it, right? Uh, Unleash Wolves at uh, 1.664 cents. Wouldn't be surprising if we touched it at all. Uh, something good. Now, they're just lagging indicators, so they're not like, you know. It's good that we have a bunch of other variables going on. Like, we broke out of a nice uh, sim triangle, very close to a, an ascending triangle. Uh, you got to be happy about that. That's a nice variable. Uh, and we weren't showing any bearish divergence at all when we broke down. Uh, only bullish convergence. Uh, resetting that uh, RSI down to 55 now. So no, no big deal. Pulling back. But uh, the golden cross, man. 
add the golden cross to the other variables, it looks that's pretty good. That's a you know you a golden cross on a stupid pump up like straight up and then straight down. You then you get the golden cross. That's not good, and you shouldn't even look at that. But uh, in a situation like this, that might be a, this might be a really good thing. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Just a golden cross, just like a MACD, just like an RSI, just like a pattern. They're useless by themselves, but if you can find some coinciding variables that, uh, you know, they line up with the pattern itself or the RSI itself or the golden cross itself, that makes them more reliable and stronger as indicators, all right? Hey, Drawn K, man. Glad you made it, dude. What happened to Urban Man? Let's go, Coffee Crypto. Let's go, Chris Irwin. Irwin Coffee, right? Yeah, man. It's, so it's going to be interesting. I don't even know, man, if I can make blends of my own. I might just deal with the the way it is now with the Coffee Grinder since I have one. All right. Uh, let's go to uh, Unleash Wolves. Let me know if that helped, man. I uh, really do appreciate the $10 contribution. Did you, man? All right. Sure, I got the right chart. The next... Oh, dude, don't be scared, man. Don't be scared of GBT, dude. Not for now, anyway. Be, be happy, man. This is no problem, man. No problem. Some nice uh, downward sloping consolidation. You're not. You have not even tested the twenty yet. That golden cross approaches. That's great, man. When you broke to the upside, higher levels of volume than your previous levels. That's great, man. That's healthy stuff. <clears throat> So I don't know if the top would even work, man. It doesn't even make much sense, right? Like that. Yeah, disregard the uh, the large wig and go with this wig and the, the next one right there. Okay, and then touch. So you got touch point uh, one up here, the first one, and then the. And then you got another one that's touching, and then you got the one large wick, and then the third one. So you got three touch points that make sense. You got the one wild wick up here. So I just go with what makes the most sense. So you got those three, and then you've got uh, the one down here. All right, so uh, scoot it in a little bit. Hey man, down with some consolidation after a nice impulse up on extremely high levels of volume. Um, and zooming out, you can clearly see what's happening. Uh, we broke out momentarily of a channel we were in, which is awesome. Uh, we br uh, briefly broke above a, a key resistance level. It was a one time of support. Uh, but now you're back within that, below those levels. Kind of sucks, but you got to really like uh, how powerful the positive momentum was. We showed that bullish convergence. You made a high on price, a higher high on price with higher levels of positive momentum. Same thing with the RSI and the same thing with the volume. That's great. Highest spike in volume we've seen technically since July 17th. So it's been a minute. Been a minute since we've seen this much oomph on our movement, right? Rate of change. Great man. Man, that coffee was just too easy to drink, man. Wow. I'm very impressed. It's really good. Thanks again, Chris Irwin, man. You can blend coffee, no problem. It all depends on the flavor. Yeah, I just don't even know what I want, though. I've never even had that much uh, diversification of coffee, right? Ground coffee to mix. Because it's always coming in a K-cup, right? Uh Probes says, uh, pretty sure Seth dumped his uh, bags of vet on us at the top. Well played, evil genius. Well played. Yes, I guess so. Seth, why have you forsaken us? Hey, what's up, uh, Kiki? Welcome. Uh, I really do appreciate the uh, congratulations. I uh, uh, couldn't do it without you, all right? about Colonel Chapman okay just was sifting through chat all right coffee's here or coffee is different in the in Australia Nick is that true what's uh, different about it man 
I don't know. Is that like what y'all do? Do y'all do that kind of coffee in Australia, man? Kind of interesting, but uh, doesn't sound like my cup of tea or coffee. All right, so that's it, man. Uh, you know, this breakout's great. Uh, and the... Jeez, man. It's been in this since March 8th or 9th. That's where it started, all of it. Just been selling off lower highs, lower lows the entire way, but a fantastic looking pattern. My God, this is one you'd print out, frame, and put on your wall. And if we ever made proper retrace from the high, the swingest highest, we could uh, run easily to 19,970, 382, the 50%, 24,000, 329, or the 618, which is 28,689. Okay, so anyway, uh, key resistance, we just hit it and, and failed to break it, but that's okay to consolidate, not a big deal. Uh, 97.09 is that key resistance, and then after that is that 10,991. That's going to be a big one, all right? And then after that, you got the 236, which is 14,577, all right? There's your GBT, man. So not screwed, man. Not screwed at all. This could be the beginning, but we are uncertain. Pray for Bitcoin. Okay. Okay, so let me check a charge, make sure it's good. Okay, so um let's go to eighty eight of the US dollar. Came hey Dron K, thanks for the sub on YouTube, man. The Jesus man, it's a little delayed, I know. It just happens, a stream elements, I can't do anything about that. Hey, truth and success, man, with David, man. Thanks so much for the sub on YouTube, Jesus, man. There's Brandon. Brandon, thanks so much, man. Good seeing you again, dude, seriously. Hey, Miles, man, thanks so much for the sub on YouTube, Jesus, man. Thank you, dude. Good guy. We're talking about uh, the way Stream Elements does it. If I drink it on the Jesus channels, I'll just be like drinking half a beer, all right? <laughs> when that happens sometimes. Okay, so... <sighs> Anyway, so uh, with ADA in the midterm from, you know, back on May 3rd, where we found a top here, uh, just huge sell off, it sucks, man, right? Uh, lower highs, lower lows. But, you know, from touch point one and two down on the bottom side, and then the anchor point right here at the top, that pinnacle of the altcoin spring, um, I think that was right because we had all the heartline respect here, here, and then also down here before we. Uh, broke it and when we broke it look how far we rallied we hit that downward slipping resistance failed over and over and over it was just in a way the way it failed was just like ripple right so can't tell me this is not the way the market's not interpreting it or it has to be the way the market is interpreting this channel all right or this trend very well respected and then if we zoom into the uh Shorter term, right? You can see that uh, we broke out. Broke out of a channel. Been a long, long time, man. So uh, nice moves up, but lower highs than our previous highs have not even tested the candle body high close or the wick of that previous candle body high close, right? That's at uh, 11.0507 cents. Have not tested the 200 MA, which uh, is a little bit higher up. It's 11.6 cents. All right. So just like uh, what Ethereum and Neo, they've all got their little respective short-term upward sloping channels. So we plot and we wait to see how, if we can get up to these uh, upward sloping resistances, how would they, how will we do, how will we uh, respond? Will we break out of it or will we just break down to the bottom again? Okay. But you know, what did we pivot off of? We pivoted off the 1272 Fib extension. Awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. Double bottoming off of it, in fact. 
but if you can see this teal, the two teal upper sloping trend lines, that is your ascending broadening wedge, a bearish inherent pattern. All right, so that is your 88 of the US dollar. We had a breakout. And we have overhead resistance upon us. Very, very uh, close. And we just talked about that 11.0507 cents. Okay. So that's it, man. Sorry. Okay. Seed coffee, what happened? Okay, AP DUP said the best served coffee he ever had was in Germany. Do you remember what it was, what bean it was? How's Raycoin looking? I don't know, man. I haven't even looked at it since uh, I think it's just Zero made it. <laughs> what is the uh, Monero amount for Chalen? It's uh, just 10 bucks right now. And, and by the way, I haven't even brought that up yet. If you not notice in the uh, tip jar, Chalen's been working on the uh, Monero uh, emoji ball, but uh, yeah, I just hadn't, I forgot to change it. If like, you know, uh, we're doing a revision on it. Wanted something a little bit different for the, uh, the vision of Monero. Um, we're just going to see how that revision goes, but you know, either way, you got a moving emoji ball for the $10 contributions, right? So heck yeah, man. Really do appreciate all the work Chalen puts in and is putting in continuously, right? Yeah, Chalen, for sure. What's up, uh, Dan from Iowa, Toll. Melissa, we say hello. What's up, kid, man? Mr. Cantoma, that's his favorite coffee. Dude, do y'all like uh, coffee? What, frog coffee? What is that? Okay, just trying to get through the conversations. All right. I think we're good. Rimlock says, dump eat. Okay, man. Go ahead. Do your worst. All right, let's see now. Okay, let's take a look at like one of the US dollar. Okay, so in your like midterm, short term, right? Uh, stemming back to really, you know, July, uh, really, really nasty moves down, a very severe angle. I mean, goodness. Really just like touch point one and two up here and then three down here. As you can see, eventually we just cracked through that heart line and uh, tested the bottom trend line of the channel multiple times, right? And then we pivoted on very high levels of volume. It's always a good sign, high levels of volume on a, on a move up, on a, you know, move down and then move up. And then you had the bullish divergence on both oscillators to signify the reversal, which is great, great. So since then we've been making higher lows, but uh, not necessarily higher highs. Making the same, well, we did make higher highs, but uh, now we're below those highs again, our previous highs, right? But uh, this is pretty much, you know, some overhead resistance right here, where we are currently. And these were just a bunch of uh, supports looking left, stemming back to like October and stuff. So I can just get rid of those for now anyway. We'll uh, replot them if we need to. Okay. THX for checking vet mail. Can I check Pundi and PXS, please? Pundi! Hey, uh, Wolves, man. Thanks for the uh, $10 contribution to Juice, man. It's NPXS, right? I think. We haven't looked at that in a while. Hey man, we'll, uh, we'll take a look, man. The Jizz, man. Thank you, dude. Uh, P.O. Box. I hope you did not send anything to a P.O. Box because that's not my P.O. Box. It's the other organizations. Okay. 
That's right, MK. Everyone's a friggin' genius in a bull market, as we saw in the great FOMO, right? Heck yeah, we look up to him, man. Uh, yes, yes, I'm below my encyclopedia book, brother man. Everyone's waving on Twitch, waving back. You need a Beanie Baby coin? Might be time to check out Waves or Others. Yeah, there's many Beanie Babies. What's your special attribute of yours, right? Just saying. What's my Twitter, Urban? This is my Twitter. Do you see it on your screen, man? Thanks, man. Hey, what's up, uh... What's up, chart guys? The Jesus man. Let's uh, go ahead and play some Jesus chimes for the special guest. The uh, you know, the special guest coming in on on the Scrub Channel, the 500 sub Scrub Channel. <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. Good to see you, bro. Sorry, dude. I uh, I got home, man, and had literally no time. I had to. It, there's about you know the process of streaming. There's a lot to it, so it's just getting at making sure everything's situated. So I'll get back at you after the stream. Hi, right, Crypto Tiger. Have a good one, man. Yeah, hey, what's up, Arthur? Man, Arthur Y. So anyway, that's uh, your shorter term trend. Well, that was the you know I don't know, man. That's that's July, so you can call it short term all you want, but we broke out of it. But unfortunately, we have uh, critical areas of resistance upon us. All right, and so we just uh, use our fib channel for a more zoomed out view of what's happening right now. So yeah, disregarded the craziness at the top because when we uh, tried charting this at the top, it made no sense at all. Like, couldn't make any sense of it. So I uh, just decided to say, all right, don't worry about this stuff. Uh, we went plot point one here. This is where we started it plot point two and then plot point three on the bottom and then you know magically had a plot point four there okay so um, you know obviously we had uh, some support on the heart line multiple times you know we fell below it but uh, bounced right back the you know these I think these trend lines are, are just like fibs where it's you don't have to touch it perfectly and bounce it's really just those are the areas where people are looking to see if we will have price action reversal it's not necessarily like all the time a perfect resist or support okay it's never that concrete or black and white right so you know clearly we've just been floating around chopping along the 75 percent trend line of the fib channel it really man it's just downward sloping right uh, just been selling off we had highs all-time highs at one point of 420 dollars with ethereum at 14 20 dollars it is all time what's up with that do we have just a bunch of market makers they just love 420, man. Remember, that's where Ripple topped out at in the old altcoin spring on 420, man. Crazy stuff, dude. So anyway, uh, you know, the area that was once a support that we broke through is now being used as resistance. Okay, no big deal. But, uh, you know, more formidable levels of support down here. You know, back to the mean. Not meme, the mean. After such a tremendous run. Right, so let's see how we respond here. But overall, man... Uh, on the top end of this channel, it'd be nice to see us break out, but would need a lot, a lot of volume. Volume on a breakout is super important, almost the most important aspect of a breakout. All right, volume. And currently, we don't, we have that, we have that on the bottom. Large candles, large volume candles, right? Price action, and uh, the, I mean that means that sometimes that means that the bottom is in temporarily when you see that kind of correlation between larger uh, price action candles and volume candles. All right, so it doesn't always mean that, but it's uh, it can give you a clue of maybe a temporary bottom. And, and for now, it's playing out where it is. It's been a temporary bottom. Uh, P.O. Box. Yeah, I got to create a P.O. Box. There's one like in my neighborhood, like down the road. It's not far. I just, you know, the post office. So I just need to set that up. <laughs> Let's chase the highs and go higher. Let the FOMO days recommence. Yeah, just on a different market, right? 
does the volume on Bitcoin suck right now, Rimlog? Uh, so though it is higher than its like very, very recent average, if you zoom out a little bit, it's really not that great. It's not that important, but you know, if we're at, remember we're at that uh, upward sliding trend line, the channel we plotted, it's really not that big of a deal. The volume needs to come in on the breakout and like maybe the market might not be interpreting the chan the wedge the way I, I have mine plotted, right? So um, that's why we plotted another, you know, indicator, a channel, and uh, that's being very well respected. So uh, if we were to break out of that on high volume, could be good stuff, but uh, none of that right now. Nothing, nothing special. Yeah. That would have been live for one hour. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for your local on the lates. Okay, let's go to uh, let's go back to Bitcoin. Can't believe we've been live an hour. It's just ridiculous, man. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. If you're just tuning in, uh, we had the wedge, the white two, the two white upward sloping trend lines, and then. Um, uh, when we broke out and said, hold on a sec, what's, what's happening? Something's got to be happening. You see these trend lines, one and two and three, and then now four. This is being respected, this angle. Uh, but, you know, it's not just that. I could I could literally delete this for the sake of simplicity and just say, okay, man, we broke out of the wedge, but look left, overhead resistance after such a nice run. You'd think that we would struggle a little bit to break it, but hey. If we don't, if we do break this area, I'd like to see volume that give uh, anyone more inclination to believe it's a real breakout and won't just scrub out and crap out. And we also understand that the uh, 7200 area that is that 50% retracement, which it wouldn't be weird at all if we touch that. But you can't tell me areas up here aren't decently low risk for some sort of short position can't say that. So even if it craps out, you say, all right, well, this is any day situation on any market, you know, normally in a bear market, you want to go short. So um, any bear market on any exchange or any, uh, you know, market like Forex or stocks, there are areas to go short with the lowest risk when you're trading a wedge. Okay. And areas, these are the areas up here. But again, of course, we could just keep on floating on up, man. Keep on remaining irrational longer than everyone else can stay solvent before crapping out, okay? But yeah, above the 200 MA, the 20 and the 50 now. And like I said earlier, the uh, 50 and the 20, the faster scale MAs have not yet even caught the 200 MA. So we'll see if uh, the price action remains upward sloping, all right? So uh, we had the bearish divergence, then we didn't. Now we have that bullish convergence, high, higher high in price, higher levels of positive momentum, all right? Still looking, uh, you know, slightly, somewhat overbought, right at 70, but that's hot. That's nice. But currently, the main thing to take from this, I believe, is we're back testing this downward sloping trend line of the Fib channel. Touch point one up there, and two, and three, four, and five on the bottom side. You broke it. Now you're back testing. Will be great to see if we can sustain prices above that, and then run again. All right. Okay. Whew. reading some chat well MK, MK we've seen it time and time again man and this kind of stuff right over and over and over again thanks Anthony Rosano man the Jesus man for the share <sighs> stay hydrated everyone alright been an hour. <clears throat> Interesting. APDUP says the best coffee bean, in his opinion, is from the highlands of Papaya, New Guinea. If I said that right, hopefully. Okay. We'll see. APDP also says not the bean itself. It's that in Germany they don't drink coffee like they do in the U.S. But they, oh, dude, I don't ever. 
I don't have sugar at my house. So I'm, I'm screwed there. They serve it with style and perfection in Germany, just like the BMW. Ah, German engineering, man. Clutch. Or Audi, right? Audi's also German. Well, I mean, it's just like, you know... And here's the thing, you know, MK, like, if volume picks up, if someone sees demanded Bitcoin at these prices, by all means, right? Break the channel, break the flag, break the upper sloping resistance, break the 50% retrace, break the 618. And if you do that, for real, we could see a measure move of the, the wedge or flag, whatever you want to call it, measure move is going to be up 7752, right? So the thing about technical analysis, it's not just about I'm going to be right or wrong. It's just like I know where targets are going to be when if we do break those patterns to the upside or downside because there's a measure move one way or another. That's the beauty of it, okay? So, give me two seconds. <clears throat> well, the lights are changing. Who's getting sensual in here? So we're about to go to a. Uh, oh, crap. <sighs> Let's just run to uh, a theory. You know, because we do the local on the eight, so we look at the big three over and over and over. So, um, just a hurdle getting through those. So, uh, you know, short term, okay, man, touch point one and two and three, the top, right? And it's just uh, slightly upward sloping, like a scrub. Like this is what scrubs do, all right? Uh, bounced off that bottom trend line of the midterm trend we've been in, which is very bearish and uh, that's that's great that we bounced and respected it so well but uh, not making higher highs not even coming close to making higher highs in our previous highs we know for a fact that <clears throat> from this swing high to swing low which is our most previous real swing high that you can see we only made a 23 percent retracement so scrubby man that's what bear flags do bear flags scrub out around the 236 that's like uh, a signature of really really good bear flags but it is uncertain if that's the case. We could run up again. Uh, we could go up as high as $333. Repeating, of course. Now, before crapping out. All right, that would give us a slightly higher high. Probably would get some bearish divergence at that point. So uh, we'll see, though, man. And you got the heart line, the heart line that was so well respected in this downward sloping channel, right? Uh, that's approaching. We'll soon run out of time if we keep staying, you know, with this price action. All right, that's it, man. That's uh, and then you zoom out and you can see much better looking than Litecoin, right? Much, much better. Okay, man. So that's it. That's, uh, that's Ethereum. Now let's go to Ripple, knock it out. So then we can go to the one pundi to rule them all. Okay, man. Great. Down some channel. Broke out of it. Descending triangle after a major impulse up. After crazy bullish divergence. And then we had some more bullish divergence right here with a little double bottom. And penny price action versus the upside. Boom. There it is, but uh, we have not yet tested those critical areas of resistance upon us at 36.77 area, uh, nor have we tested that 200 MA that is right there at 36.27 cents. All right, so that's it, man. That's all there is, and the measure move of the descending triangle, if we were to make it, would be at 39.7 cents, but I don't know, I don't think, if we, if we touch that measure move, I don't think that's it. I really don't. This is the way support resistance works. We would run to 42 cents if we tested, if we were going to break the 200 MA, break this overhead resistance looking left, we'd have a, probably a pretty smooth sale to 42 cents, all right? Back to where we were just a few weeks ago. All right.
really depending on dang it's been like a month never mind wow <sighs> crazy so that's it man uh, some bu uh, bullish convergence just like a lot of the others you know a lot of these cryptos are doing the same stuff on the oscillators and the price action is very very similar to go figure right uh, nothing uh, crazy about that Ethereum kind of looked like it was leading the, the pump for a minute today. Eh, you know, but like, again, all right, we're zoomed in on the short term and uh, we're looking at that pump and that's like, okay, we're looking at one of the moons of Jupiter, right? And we are like zoomed in on it and we see this crazy huge meteor strike and, and it's like violent and like, whoa, man, that's nuts. But then it's like, hold on a sec, let's zoom out. I can't, let's replay that. Wow, I can't even see the meteor hitting the moon anymore. And then you look at it, you're like, whoa, there's Jupiter. And then you zoom out, you're like, whoa, dude, this is the entire solar system, man. Like, what? I can't see any of that. It's pretty much, you know, some of these ESCO ones that have been going through these nasty breakdowns for so long, that's what they're doing. They're not making higher highs yet. They're not truly making consistent higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. They're not doing that stuff. Well-sustained bull trends, nothing like that. Okay, these are just little pops and pumps you're getting, and we've gotten them time and time again on the way down. So you can't be completely sold that uh, the bear trend's over. We're just retracing. That's what you do. It's like chart law. You retrace after you make impulses down to certain uh, percentage levels. Common 382, 38%, 50%, 62%, man. I don't know if you would uh, like Twitch, Char guys. You might want to if you want to change the lights. <laughs> okay, I guess that's what y'all are talking about. Sorry, kind of been on a chart rant talking about stuffs. Okay. I need the red light on. Oh yeah, Ugh. inverse red light. Right, no telling, Jason, man. Uh, there's just no telling. You'd have to have reasons to believe or think that, right? But yeah, yeah, selling may go away. That's the whole proverb or whatever. But uh, that hadn't really been the case uh, this summer for this record-breaking bull run we've seen on the stock market, okay? Sorry, just getting through some of the talk. Let me uh, check something real quick. Oh man, okay. All right, let's go to uh, Pundi Coin. Friendly Schools, man. All right, so. I think this is just what's going on. Uh, it's pretty clear, right? You know, Mega Impulse down, wicked up. Touch point one and two. Well, really, the touch points. See how do I have it? Yeah, yeah, touch point one and two, and then three and four on the bottom side, and very close, you know, to touching it here too. But uh, you know, and then the heart line respect seems pretty good on this look, using it as a support when it was once a resistance, and uh, you know, from there we broke out. Broke out on what? Broke out on volume. What? Call me freaking crazy, man. So anyway, this is what we got going on. Just a upward sloping channel now. And just make adjustments. Make sure this is like perfect. You can closely uh, testing the 200 MA. Also testing the heart line of the upward sloping channel. Seems pretty methodical right now. Got to be happy about that. Uh, swing high, I think, here to swing low. Uh, we're still at that right above that 236 Fib node. We could go higher we get a 34 sats 39 sats 44 sats might want to think about uh, one could if they wanted to move their stop loss up if they somehow got in at the bottom all right uh, but you know either way shaving profit at fib nodes always a decent idea to preserve capital in this crazy unregulated 24 7 highly manipulated market all right so uh, hey amen preserve capital and uh, if you're making money, always a good idea 
to take some of that money before it ends up you go back to even right so um, there's just multiple strategies on selling off and getting paid whether it's moving the stop up and then getting stopped out because you just were letting it ride or just literally having a limit sell on some of your position at critical areas of resistance all right okay But I mean, look, man, this is uh, what's happening. You know, just kind of dissecting the low, the lower low, the higher levels of relative strength. Great looking bullish divergence. And <clears throat> it didn't look as good on the MACD, but you can still see some. There you go. So coinciding bullish divergence on both oscillators. So that's great, man. And then your volume really sucked too, like it, you losing volume on the lower low too. So that's also another indicator that you might be exhausted uh, and tired of selling. All right, that's it. Uh, Unleash wolves, man. That's that's it, dude. So we discussed uh, what trend we were in. You know the the downtrend, the channel, and then we broke out on volume, and then we discussed uh, levels that uh, we could run to before crapping out again. Just because, I mean, I know there's no data or whatever, but you know, the overall trend of this chart is bearish right now until it's not. But uh, you know, again, it's Pundi coin. People are trading this. They're not so much investing. Oh yeah, investing in Pundi coin, man. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, hope that helps, man. Okay, O and T to the US dollar. Let's do it, man. Let's do this thing. They were Jenkins. So we have the same stuff here, right? It looks almost yeah, it's, it's a pundy all over again, man. A downward sloping channel, but a much larger downward sloping channel, okay? You got uh, touch point one and two on the bottom side, and then touch point three on the top side. Uh, had it plotted like this, and then we broke below it. Uh, not, you know, not very far. And uh, <clears throat> then we uh, we busted the upside. Just like there was like a theorem on Bitfinex chart right, where it fell below the channel and had a dramatic run up on elevated levels of volume. Look at the volume, how it picked up there. It's a very big telltale sign of what's happening. So what we do, we had the impulse up, then we formed our price contraction, three reaction highs, two reaction lows, and then we broke out of it. We discussed that the measured move of this pennant was at $3.27.4. We had not hit that. We were unable to break above some resistance, this wick of the highest high of the initial impulse. Okay, so that's okay though, man, that happens. Not a big deal. As you can see, we just had a golden cross just like we did on VET. We're getting it here on ONT as well. The 50 MA is bullishly crossing over the 200 MA. Always good to see that. We also had that bullish convergence. You made the high, the higher high with higher levels of positive momentum. Great. That's awesome, man. Same thing on the RSI. Just bullish convergence. Nothing really, nothing bearish about it. Besides just being overbought, right? So that's it, man. You got the channel for the parameters. We got the uh, touch point here, here, and then down here for the third anchor point. All right. Submit. We get through some chat, and then we'll move on, and we're gonna take a look at the stock market. All right. Look at those insane indices that are doing so freaking well you gotta be happy if you're a market participant you're smiling if you're not i'm sorry <laughs> that you missed out on history <laughs> just uh scrolling hold on a decent amount of chat picked up just gotta get through it man uh i don't know bradford what should i do man let me know i don't know maybe i should just take a vote on it Okay, um, since we're at 508 sats, I'm gonna let chat do, make the decision here, okay? <sighs> if you want me to be a wizard, 
and you want me to get a beer because we hit 500 a milestone type one in chat two for no one for yes two for no i leave it in your hands it doesn't matter either way i could wait until tomorrow uh tomorrow night that's fine or we just go ahead and knock it out now it doesn't matter okay because it's one milestone we have many to come There's Kelly from Derivatives, the Jesus Lady. Rimmel, I just want to see some blood, man. I can't believe it, dude. Just to watch the world burn, right? Micron, yeah, Rimlog. Yeah, it's back inside the uh <laughs> inside the Open Seven channel. That huge one been in for like two years. <laughs> Hey, what's up, a beach life on uh, 2200? <clears throat> Wasn't Bitcoin a Bitcoin at one time? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Hold on, I, I'm, I'm about to check out this vote, okay? Uh, Rob N says to Alex Cobb. He says he watches Alex Cobb every day. Learn the news on XRP from Alex Cobb and TA from here. Hey, uh, thanks, Rob N. And uh, it sounds like we have uh, another Jesus person in the chat. Uh, Alex Cobb, that's the. I believe he's the. Well, I'll say. Well, hey, Alex, man, uh, really do appreciate you being here. Let's go ahead and pause the music and pay respects to another uh, YouTube legend, man. It's a inverse moment of silence, but it's a moment of silence, but a good thing. Alex, Kyle, thanks for being here, man. The Jesus, man. Play the music. Okay, so just scroll on. I'm about to look at this. Wow, sorry, I'm missing a lot of chat. Okay, wow, overwhelming. Do we even have one, two? Well, APDUP said three, so they don't even know what that means. Wow. Um, <clears throat> we also have uh, chart guys also said three. Uh, that means, wow, three ones from the chart guys. Unreal. That uh, that's. It seems like it's uh, decreed by the legends and the Jesus peoples. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, man. You asked for it, so I will deliver. This is a democracy here, all right? Put on the Wiz, Wiz Khalifa. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Just kidding. So, all right, next time you see me, well, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, but the wizard's coming in, all right? So, uh, give him a warm welcome. It's his first time ever streaming on this channel, so be nice, okay? Be nice!
have returned. Welcome. Uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, so we tested something last night, and we're going to... And we found out we're good, so I'm going to do this again. <clears throat> I think it's a much better music to play than really anything. Okay. It's a relaxation stream. I know it's a celebration and stuff. A brown Charlie G. Charlie Brown something. Thanks so much for the sub on YouTube, the Jizz Man. Hey, John of Crypto, man. Thanks for the sub on YouTube, the Jizz Man. Well, welcome. Your Majesty, thank you so much for the sub on YouTube, the Jizz Man. Cheers. Cheers to the red tea of Mitre Yeti, all right? Well, I'll try to make a white, man. It's, it's always good blue. The dark blue is always the best with the rain, right? Um, so, uh, <sighs> music's relaxing. <clears throat> relaxing, excuse me. Awesome. Okay, so it might put people to sleep, but uh, it's, you know, it's like uh, 1230 Eastern. So, like, I realize a lot of the audience is, like, winding down, getting ready to sleep. That's, like, it's Tuesday night. That's the whole point. Can you hear me? Do the crystal ball. But uh, thank you all so much. Uh, the 113 people tuned in between Twitch and YouTube, the Jesus Peoples, our concurrent viewership's a little bit down. Uh, could make sense, right, for such a... <clears throat> change of events a new platform a new day a new age but I'm looking forward to each and every milestone with you okay so a lot of light wars going on in twitch want to get through some chat and then we can move to you know let's go to uh, let's go to the Dow Jones right now <clears throat> see how it fared I know we looked at it in the day stream but uh, everyone else take a look okay we're all zoomed in here <clears throat> Our, our fib channel, after making just a small adjustment a few days ago, it's uh, turning out to be wonderfully respected. Um, you know, we've got that touch point one and two up here, and then three on the bottom. Well, let me see here. I think the audio is way too loud. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta get these decibels right. I'm not used to this. Almost there. All right. So, one, give me an audio check right now. How is it? Is it good? Bad? Too loud? Too quiet? Can you hear everything? Is the rain still there? Just need to know. All right. Should be perfect right there. Maybe. As the legend was foretold, exactly, Josh B. What's up, King Logan, man? It's Wednesday morning. You can't get lit. I'm sorry to hear that, Jurgen, man. I mean, I'm not getting lit. I just have a beer. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, anyway, with uh, the Dow Jones, we have a, a little bit of adversity left. The way you want to look at it is we have way more support below us then we do have resistance above us. We also have an unfilled gap. Don't be gross. That unfilled gap that happened uh, with the largest spike of volatility in the history of the stock market. We remember that fateful day. Well, I mean, I remember it vividly. Where the XIV was liquidated. <laughs> Get destroyed. It's so funny, man. How all the lack of volatility got people just so lazy, so um, off guard. And then when we had that spike, so much money was lost. Hedge funds got liquidated, got ruined because of the uh, volatility spike. Because <laughs> they were over leveraged on inverse volatility, which was the XIV that uh, doesn't exist anymore. Okay, Because in the uh, prospectus, it stated that uh, 
they would liquidate all their positions and just really pay out to everyone that was a shareholder their remaining funds. So that sucks, man. But anyway, uh, here we are. It's uh, most of the year has gone by. We're still not back at those levels, but all we have left as resistance, I believe, is the 886, which is 26,251. Okay, it's an 88.6% retrace from the swing high, the all-time highs, to the lowest low of this uh, correction pullback we had. So you've got that, and then you also have that upward sloping trend line, I believe, that we will respect, at least for the time being. And so you could float around and just keep on chopping. And eventually, if you, and, and again, you could break this stuff, you could break out, which is fine. Let's get some volume if we break out, though, but we can methodically march and eventually test the all time highs uh, in the coming week. Unless good news happens and the market, you know, everything on the market, the stocks and the Dow Jones decide to just go, continue going ape, uh, we could break out and get there faster, but a methodical march would be healthier for the sustainability uh, of the run. So when we approach the all-time highs, we're not too hot on our RSI. We're not making bearish divergence. So when we approach it, a big breakout to the upside on volume would be tremendous. And if we broke out, what are the targets, Ray? Well, the targets, your first target's gonna be 27,512. It's the 1272 FIB extension, right? And then you got the 1414, the 1618, but above that, this is an outer space. Okay, this is between the 1414 and the 1618 FIB extensions. You've got that upward sloping trend line. What is that trend line, Ray? Well, we'll zoom out so we can take a look, man. Again, sound check. All right. You know, let's go to the weekly real quick so we can just get a better scope of vision on this chart, all right? So touch point one and two and three on the top. It's really three and four on the top, believe it or not. That is within the parameters of a trend that extends back to the highest highs where we, you know, this was uh, the great financial crisis of our time, the global financial crisis, and this was the dot-com bubble. Wasn't near as nuts on the Dow Jones because not much tech compared to the spy, the spider or the, uh, you know, S&P 500, a lot of tech there. So this chart looks uh, dramatically different. I can't see that. Hey, uh, Mike Amran, thanks so much for the sub on YouTube, the Jesus man. Welcome. I hope you brought your jacket because it's raining. Oh, I completely forgot about my conditions. If you look at the top right of your screen, we're going to go from uh, mostly cloudy at night to just thunderstorms. Why not? Just to fit the theme of the evening. Okay. If you don't know anything about the top right of the screen, weather conditions, let's try to do it in theme of Bitcoin price action. And, uh, you know, we'll change it up on nights like this just to fit. But uh, that is... I've got, I found the guy. He does all these... Uh, 1990s Weather Channel GIFs. Those are the graphics in the 90s on the local on the 8s. So I've got the local on the 8s and I've got that. So I thought that was a funny little Easter egg for people to enjoy. It's nothing really big, but uh, it's just cool, a little addition. It's the little things that count in the live stream, the little things. The big things are great and important, but you keep adding the little things, all right? Anyway, I gotta get through some of this chat, alright? And we probably just fib channel this too and probably look really good, but uh, it doesn't matter so much. Anyway, back into the, uh, the thick of it with what's currently going on with the Dow Jones. Looking great, looking healthy. Minor pullbacks, no big deal. Even if we fill the gap here, wouldn't be a big deal. That's right, a wizard is never late. <laughs> Hello, 
oil blade in. Fuck. Glad you're here. Oh my god, we hit 100 likes? Really? Let's freaking go, man. Let's freaking go. Cue the fireworks. It's on, man. It's freaking on. Thank y'all so much for the 100 likes. I couldn't do without you. It means everything, alright? Those likes signify engagement to YouTube algos. So the more likes we get when this video goes static, the more people will view it. The more exposure we'll get, the more subs we'll get, the faster we'll grow. Alright? That's you doing your part, just hitting that like button. That bell, that's up. <laughs> Dan and Melissa took $24.20. A little something for the wizard. Dan and Melissa, thanks so much for the 2420. The Jesus couple from Iowa. Freaking love y'all. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. It's freaking everything. Golden mean for the first wizard night on the home channel. God bless. Hey, Julia, thanks so much for the golden mean ratio. The Jesus lady. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. There's Billy Langford in the house. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Speaking of Lieutenant Dan. Oh, I, I don't know. Um, you want to see Dan again? Julia? You want him to cameo? Just hang out? I don't know. Anytime. Probably the weekend. You know, probably best always for that stuff. Right? Perfect, perfect. New show, kind of. Greg Morgan, new show? I don't think so, man. We got over 500 live streams about th at this point, right? But uh, new new show, but new channel. That's the big thing, right? Oh, okay. Sorry, man. Look, you know, Telemundo Weather Channel was better. What? Is that the one with the girls in the cleavage and stuff, or the girls literally more than cleavage or something, or less than cleavage? Let me just uh, get through my secondary chat. See if. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan got new legs. What? <laughs> Chart guy says, "What? How do you not have a wrench, man? I could have sworn I gave it to you. Maybe, um, uh, maybe I'm thinking wrong. I don't know. It's only this day two, so you got your wrench, man. I need to add the wizard shirt. This is the half wizard." With just a, yeah, I don't have a wizard shirt there, do I? Now I've got the Viking thing, but dude, it's so hot, right? It's like really, really hot. <sighs> Trying to get comfortable, y'all. All right. Wow, how have I been live for an hour and forty-five minutes now? Good God! I just can't believe it, man. I, I really just can't believe streaming. What it does? It's like a, a literal time machine. The TA time machine. It's here. I wonder if uh, we scared off uh, Mr. Cobb. I think Cobb, Mr. Cobb was like, uh, this is weird. I'm out of here. <laughs> the targets are the moon. Uh, excuse me, MK, talking about this moon up here. Please join me. If you look, take a look to the right of your uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, you can see the moon is soon approaching. Oh, God. You talking about AMD, not AFMD. Maybe you're talking about AFMD. Strike first. Next. Sensei. Could you check AFMD, please? Here we go. Thanks, Johnny Lawrence, man, for the 507 Gs, man. Yeah, man, we can take a look. Got AMFD. Oh, there's no such thing. So you do mean, oh, but maybe you're saying advanced micron effing devices, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll look at advanced, uh, advanced micro effing devices. Sure, man. <laughs> this thing's gone nuts, though. It, uh, it broke out of an extremely, uh, steep upward sloping channel. It's crazy, man. 
gone, dude. Literally gone. Be careful, though, on the daily. This is, in fact, a bearish pattern. What is this bearish pattern? Dark cloud cover. We all know this. We've seen many. We saw it on Disney on the weekly, breaking out of that very large three-year-long sim triangle. Uh, maybe we could go back to Disney and take a look and see how it's doing, right? One love, brother man. Hey, yeah, uh, Irwin Coffee, man. Thanks so much for the seven dollars and seventy-seven cents of Jesus, man, and the Jesus Coffee, the Sumatran beans. I don't know why Sumatran's so good, man, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to mixing, mixing them. I, you know, I got the coffee beans that are ungrounded. I put them in like uh, when I opened your package. I got the uh, really nice Tupperware or whatever, so it'll, it'll stay fresh. But anyway, dark cloud cover. Do we want to pull it up again real quick for people that uh, don't know what dark cloud cover is? So we can sh show another example, so it gets uh, in your mind a little bit more when you see these patterns, what to take heed of. And I'll get something better for this, okay? I definitely will. There it is. Okay, it's like, uh, it's when you open higher than your previous candle, and then you pierce the candle and close at least halfway through the previous candle. Uh, this is an extreme example of it, all right? So there are gaps to be filled. We have a daily bearish pattern. We have clear levels of adversity, tons of selling pressure at the top. Two days in a row now. <laughs> Get to a point where it's just like, uh, I mean, you're showing it, so do you think you're just gonna gap up again? I mean, obviously you could gap up. Sure, man, sure. Oh, by the way, Hold on, let me see. We had, uh, remember, and this was crazy, dude. This is the way we did this. We went from the swing low at like 189 to the swing high at 1570. And we measured it, the measured move of the huge year-long pattern development of the flag, the bull flag, bull pull, bull flag, insane. The measure moves at 2813. Look how close we got. We were less than a dollar off the measured move of that pattern. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, that's that's what that uh, green horizontal line is up there, man. Bull, bull, bull flag measured move. So close. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's uh plot real quick. Oh, it really doesn't matter, I guess. We have 2658. There were gaps. If we look left all the way back to 2007. Okay, remember gaps. Remember supports and resistances are timeless. You can go back to 1970. If you had a clear resistance or support there and you'd never seen it before and you're back there, you're gonna respect that historical resistance or support depending on what we're talking about right so we went as high as 2731 2731 was just kind of a random where we topped just very very close to that 2791 mark man and that's uh back to September of 2006 uh, a gap though we filled, this gap was already filled. What was the, we filled these gaps. This was what was, hey, we're surprised, man. That's pretty cool. We knew at some point it, there's a good opportunity we could fill those gaps, right? But uh, this one was already filled, as you can see here. But the next gaps, there are more gaps, believe it or not. And I keep saying that. Stop being gross. It's just the way it works. Here's a gap, 3820. That has yet to be truly filled by a candle body close. Do you think we would fill that that gap, man? Would be insane. Seriously, this is AMD. Uh, this is 
This isn't even all-time highs. You're like, oh man, we're going back to 2006, you know, before the global financial crisis. That's all-time highs, right? No, it's not, dude. It's not. Let's go back to the tech bubble in 2000. 4850, I think. 4851, whatever, man. That was all-time highs on micro, it's not micron, advanced mic, micro devices. All right. Hey, man, I want to help support the cause. I'm indirectly in AMD, so I don't know, man. I'm thinking about getting a Threadripper. Like, I want one so bad because it's just a huge investment into this stream. That's what a Threadripper is. It's, it's like this crazy, one of the top-of-the-line best CPUs uh, that exist on the planet. In the movie Forrest Gump, did Jimmy get Forrest AIDS? Oh, can you look at gold? Uh, kills her loving things with a ten dollar contribution. The Jesus man, did Jenny give Forrest the the AIDS? Um, what was the? What did you request again? I'm sorry. I'm thinking about the Forrest Gump movie. Well, and I'm reading that and trying to analyze and interpret that and think about it because you kind of blew my mind. <sighs> Ruined the movie for me, man. Um, tell me the coin you wanted again, dude. Tell me the coin. There's freaking Stuart H. The freaking Jesus man. Welcome, Stuart man. Glad you found us, dude. Um, but I don't. Did she give him the the sickness, the AIDS? Uh, probably. I don't know. I mean, maybe. What do y'all think, chat? Did Forrest Gump? I don't think so because he wasn't. Forrest Gump, the movie of Forrest Gump was a traditional epic. Okay, an epic s tells the story of a hero in whatever its context is, and the hero throughout the epic never changes. Okay, the epic Beowulf was the first that we know about, right? Where the character never really evolves. The character stays himself the whole way through. Now, of course, you know, he grows up and then breaks the chains and all that, but when he's an adult, right, he doesn't really change. And we're talking about cinematography and movies and plots and whatever. It's a different world we're talking about, okay? But he never changed. So, if we're going based on the epic, he probably didn't get AIDS, because he didn't change, because that'd be his immune system's completely shot. So that wouldn't make sense for an epic, right? So now I think uh, Forrest Gump probably didn't get it based on the epic principle. All right. Did Jesus man? Thanks so much for the ten dollar contribution. You asked. We went a little deeper probably than we should have. <laughs> Hope the uh, answer was good enough, man. All right, man. So uh, there you go, dark cloud cover. And here's the thing, though. It's a bearish reversal pattern, but okay, oh my god, man. Say we break down and we fall all the way to 2244. The only people that are going to be mad or sad about it are the ones that bought, that FOMO'd in today or yesterday or yet the day before that or, you know, Friday. So gaps fill about 70% of the time. This is n neither of these. Oh, man, look at the Maru Bazoo, man. You want to talk about a candlestick pattern? Actually, you zoom in enough, you can clearly see very small wigs. This could almost just be considered a Maru Bazoo, where you have from the open, complete bullish domination to the close, with no selling really on this. I don't know if I have an example of that, but uh, just so you can see, so you're making sure you're not confused. I, I don't know, man. Hold on. Yeah, bullish Maru Bazoo. There it is. See? Great freaking candle pattern. You gotta love them, man. Japanese. Why? Oh, that helps. Either way, though. You go from a Maru Bazoo to a gap up to another gap up to dark cloud cover. The gaps with this most likely will fill. You can almost count on it. Gotta love the volume, though. But this volume... You see this high level of volume? Don't be fooled to think this is all green volume. There's so much selling pressure. 
So much selling pressure is the reason why we have so much volume here. So be careful and understand we were rejected. We're getting tired. And this pattern right here, I think, uh, shows that. Now, of course, on the daily highest spike of, uh, hold on. On the daily, the highest spike of positive momentum we've seen in so long. The highest spike we've seen, in fact, since 2006 on advanced micro devices. Crazy world we're living in right now. History comes around or something. Oh, Mr. Kanatomo. Yeah, how is Mr. Kanatomo? Hope he's doing well. You have the Ryzen, the Ryzen, not Ryzen. <laughs> Ryzen's uh, one of our community members as well as a, a very, very deadly drug. But uh, the Ryzen ship. Uh, yeah, man. I think uh, the Threadripper is just like, this, you know, their crazy one, right? It's so expensive, though. That's the only reluctance, of course, right? Can anyone uh, does anyone else have a th does anyone have a thread ripper that can give feedback on how its performance is? Is it worth that twelve hundred dollars? And there's a new one, um, there's a new one coming out that's like eighteen nineteen hundred dollars. It's like what? Uh, reading chat, okay. ERF, uh, yeah, man. One, make sure it's the right one. Huh. You know, there's an ERF on the New York Stock Exchange, uh, Inter, Inter Plus Corporation, but you're looking for uh, Eurofins, and it's uh, on Euronext, right? Okay. Yeah, it's not uh, American. We can definitely look at Eurofins, but not the New York Stock Exchange one. Write that down. Euro fins. Right. Should be good. <clears throat> so, with the analysis of AMD, I hope that sufficed uh, to be astute enough as one. One that is the analysis. All right. Let me know kills for a living man so hopefully i answered your force gump question well enough and also analyzed amd well enough i covered both the request for your 10 bucks okay man thanks dude legendary rare pepe yeah man no pepe hands tonight forever boom Stuart, man boom no wicks on Amaro Bazoo, exactly. Yeah, but, dude, but like, uh, the thing is, though, this is, like, so slight, you could signify that pretty much as Amaro Bazoo, man. Like, that's, that's close enough, man. Like, algorithms and bots will signify this as Amaro Bazoo. Okay, they'll, like, identify, like, mm, okay, we found Amaro Bazoo, and then they'll, they'll, like, if there were, like, alerts and stuff like that to find Amaro Bazoos, they would call this Amaro Bazoo. It's just so close to being one. It is one, really. Hi. GM me for MK and Kronos for me, please. Ty. XOXOXO. GM me. GameStop and Kronos. Uh, Hey, Joel, man. Thanks so much for the uh, 420 contribution. I hope you enjoy the pot coin. No, hemp coin that dropped in the jar. Thanks, man. Yo, look at uh, GameStop now. Well, let me look at EPF first, and then GME, and then Chrono, all right? Because, you know, I just... That's not it. What was I looking at just now? ERF? 
Yeah, ERF, my bad, dude. Nice rally, man. Let's go to the weekly real quick. Zoom out all the way. Remember, how do we... How do we analyze something we've never seen before? We go to the weekly or the monthly, whatever's needed to see the entirety, the life of the chart. So we know clearly this thing is an overall insanely bullish trend. Great, man. Didn't need to go to the monthly to see that. Okay, let's get out our fibs, our fib channel and just kind of mess around. So the whole point is just to mess around. I don't think we're going to be able to use this back here. It wouldn't make any sense for the velocity trend that we have been in for such a long time, since 2010. But it seems like we've changed things since then. Most certainly. Man, that's rough, dude. Because it's like, okay, then we might have to go on the bottom side? That's tough. It's really tough. Let me see, man. Doesn't make sense, man. Really want to have two touch points on the top end, but if we did touch point one and two, and then three back here from 2011, it seems like we held but let's look to see if we can uh, I mean lots of respect on the 75 75 heart line heart line heart line around the heart line 75 25 I think it's good enough to go with touch point one and two and three and if you've got something that lines up a lot better than that, by all means, feel free to show me. I don't know how much better we could do this, okay? Because it seems pretty perfect to me. All right. So that being said, uh, fell out, but back in. And we've been respecting the 25% abundantly. And now we're back above it. But we're testing the 50-week moving average on ERF, Eurofins. So let's go ahead and go to the... A daily, Let's see what we can look at in the midterm or short term, whatever. You call it. One, two, and three. Eh, it doesn't really work. It doesn't even matter because you broke out of it. it. Seems like you had some sort of you had some chop. You're gonna get chop, man. It's never gonna be like this cookie cutter perfect world you live in of TA. It, sometimes you're gonna get crazy wicks, and you're gonna fall out, but you're gonna shoot back up into them. All right, look out on the heart line right here. We bounced off the heart line in the downward sloping channel. It would make no sense, in my opinion, to go from touch point one to two here. Because nothing would make... You'd have to go all the way down here for your channel. It just doesn't make sense. You have to go from the bottom side here, all right? Unless, uh, real quick, let me just try something. And if it doesn't work, no one cares. It's all good. We move on with our lives. Touch point one and two. Like that. Three and four. Ah. Honestly, I think we have both. We're literally looking at a time span. We are looking at a one year long time span. Don't be surprised. We have different channels. Are you kidding me? So touch point one and two right here. Touch point one up here and two up here. So four touch points. And then the heart line respect here uh, before running up again. Broke down. And that's why we have the channel. We have two different downward sloping channels. And so we broke out of one, but we're still within the parameters of another one. Okay. Wow, man. Very, very choppy. Very choppy. Uh, critical areas of resistance that stem back to uh, 
June of 2018. Uh, above the 200 MA, wonderful. So though we have broken out of a shorter term trend, it seems, we're still in a uh, you know year-long downtrend, okay. But overall, a very extremely bullish chart. So I hope that helps. And we can do fibs. Sure, man. We can do Fibonacci. Why not? I don't want to use that. That's so weird, man. If we do that, we can't use the wicks. We have to use the candle bodies, all right? So <sighs> normally the rule is you want to use that uh, swing high, the closest swing high right here. But... Swing high. So use candle body close lows, not the wig. As you can see, the rule of fibs, okay? Take heed of this if you care. If not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, say you're gonna say your swing high is a candle body close. Look, you can talk about Maru Bazoo. MK, here you go. Here's your Maru Bazoo, man. Here it is. Two Maru Bazoos in a row. Well, this one's a real Maru Bazoo, and you got the just like the other one, it's as close as you can get to a Maru Bazoo, all right? Complete bullish domination. So that being said, that was a swing high. So when you fib and you don't have a wick on the top end or bottom end, you can't fib using wicks on the bottom. You either go when you're two plot points, right? You're on two plot points for your fibs. It's either you go wick and wick or candle body and candle body. There's no other way to do it. All right. So take. Remember that rule. It's a rule of Fibonacci. So here we are. Candle body close to candle body close on our fibs. We're touching that 50% retracement that's been oh so critical. And you say, oh man, we just randomly topped out at the 200 MA. No, it was the 200 MA, but it was also the 50% retracement. Charles Dow, the Jesus man. All right. My God, we got super freaking deep in ERF. Hope that helps. Wow. Let's go to uh, GameStop. <laughs> the Scrub Lord. There you go, man. This stems back to December of 2013. You know, in the short term though yeah you got slightly oversloping stuff right oh my goodness right as you touched the sun time and time again that 25 percent trend line of the fib channel huge breakdown and another day mk looks like we got wrecked again but look oh my goodness man we closed below the channel outside the channel on some pretty high volume wow man big old selling but it makes sense it's a dying company man it uh there's just no value in this company anymore. It's not going to be able to grow. It can't grow anymore. Just because of the way of online video games have evolved. Back in 2007, it made sense. Now it's stupid. It's a dumb idea. It's overhead, brick and mortars. What's the point? Too much overhead to make any kind of money when you're just the middleman selling someone else's product when that someone else is now selling it online virtually. Okay. Ah. So it's just a Moore's theory, Moore's uh, principle, whatever it is, you know, where technology increases 1.8 times every year, almost doubles every year. This is a dinosaur. This is like watching Macy's on steroids. The, it's like watching the retail era on steroids because of Moore's principle or law or theory, whatever it is, whichever one it is. Okay. So <laughs> just because tech keeps getting I'm better and better every year man all right oh my god man been busting it been live two hours and 11 minutes if you're enjoying this live stream hit that like button that bell that sub it's now time for your local on the lates let's go to Bitcoin all right and then we'll get to chrono right
I've not been engaging with chat as much, been trying to knock these out. I've been trying to analyze hardcore for y'all, right? Trade offs, big trade offs. Okay, man, uh, we got three hours, two hours, 47 minutes left on this four hour candle, all right? A lot of stuff going on, I understand that, but uh, got the wedge. We broke the wedge. We're back testing it using it, you know, the old area that was once resistance as support now. But we're also using something else as a support. We're using that downward sloping trend line of the fib channel as a support. <clears throat> so uh, we'll see how long we can bounce along this area. If some we can get some volume and pick it up, man, we'll see if we can break that 50% retrace. Uh, we can also uh, break that upward sloping trend line of the channel that we've drawn. Because we're very sketched out of the breakout of the switch. There's two it is, Jesus, man. Glad to have you, man. Again, I know. It's like moving around, but hey, here we are. Home to stay. No sugar. Happy to see you. The Jesus, man. We know you. Part of the fam. Thank y'all for being here. I'm gonna read some chat before we move on, alright? Up, Santa Blast Resorts. Happy to have you. Oh, I'm so behind you. Hold on. Let me see here. Stuart, let me give you your wrench, man. Oh, yeah, gold. Gold. That's right. That's right, dude. Gold, my bad. We'll look at gold before any. All right, you know what? We'll skip Ethereum. And we'll skip ripple for gold all right i'm sorry about that let me get through chat and then we'll go straight to gold my bad seriously you know how, how it happens things get crazy viking or wizard you know stuff so Interesting, Stuart. I didn't know that, man. Thanks for the uh, information. Jalen, dude, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Yes, yes. Y'all look at Jalen. This is what his uh, draft is. I told him I want uh, some craziness with Monero. The Monero ball, just it looks just too Mon Monero-y. Let's get like a little bit more nuts. This is what the uh, emoji ball will look like in the jar once the final draft's out. Y'all see that? That crazy glow, that glimmer. That's so perfect, isn't it? Wow. Remember, uh, Chalen, if we could just get the, uh, and so, I don't know, the motion, I'm not really dig the motion, can we just get it pulsing? I'd like the pulse with that. You got that, like, perfect, though. That's exactly what I envisioned, man. So you did a genius job there. Okay. Hey, we, uh, Adam, we did look at ONT a little bit earlier in the show. Good to see you though, Adam. Oh, warm man. Glad you made it. What's up, Crypto Yeti man? Blue Apron Lee, you want some Blue Apron? Yeah, we've uh, been looking at that one the past few days. It's been getting wrecked, maybe, I think. So, uh, just trying to get through all this, all right, man. It's 
Sweet, Chandler. Thanks, man. Good change. Sure, Miss Cantoma, that uh, Monero logo looks so fantastic now. Oh my god, dude. Uh, Evan asking why I look at the four-hour chart the most. I like it a lot, but if you notice when I look at stocks, I look at the daily and the weekly all the friggin' time. I look at the four-hour a lot because uh, daily, uh, you just when we're looking every day at this stuff, the four-hour is this sweet spot between those faster scales, faster scale, faster time scales, and the slower time scales. The monthly on Bitcoin and really crypto, there's no historical data for most cryptos, not much anyway, not much to a point where we could. Uh, use that weekly and uh, it really help us if you look at the weekly on most cryptos it's going to be like a you know not that many candles you don't have that much data so like in crypto i like the four hour a lot just because it, we get more data we can see what's going on right and uh, we will look at the daily <clears throat> but uh this market man there's just not that much historical data where if you look at if you see me look at charts man i'm looking at the daily and the weekly every single time Okay, and I almost I seldom look at the four hour because they're just I get I have so much information to look at with the daily and the weekly. I love that. So the uh, slower the time scale, the more reliable the patterns and uh, oscillators are going to be for you. Okay. Thanks uh, so much for the 109 people still tuned in. Could be doing anything but choosing on me and do TA. That I'm grateful. You all the Jesus people look okay. Could we be forming a diamond top on Bitcoin on the four hour? <clears throat> no way, man. No way. Remember, diamonds. So you look at this wedge, and you can see it's like been developing for like 19 days. If you were to see a pattern, you would want to see a diamond that's about 19 days, 20 days, a month, two month long. You don't want to try to ever, if you think this is a diamond, you can't. You want patterns that are, lo look, inverse head and shoulders, really? Inverse head and shoulders that uh, started really uh, June, early June. We didn't break out. We didn't break the neckline until July. A month-long pattern developed. That's what you're looking for. A month-long pattern development on diamonds, head and shoulders, wedges, flags, whatever. I mean, look at the AMD flag. The AMD. The AMD bull flag. That flag had been going on for a year before breaking out. And we were less than a dollar away from the, uh, the measured move. See, see what I'm saying? The more, the larger the pattern, the better you can see it on uh, fa slower time scales. The more reliable it's going to be, okay? Because that means more people around the world are going to be able to recognize it and see it. So if you ask the question when you're looking for patterns, you say, "Hey, is that an inverse? Is that a head and shoulder?" I can barely tell. Why do I have to ask? If you have to ask, it's probably not valid, right? Oh, that helps. And that's the way the bots are programmed too. <laughs> if they can see it and analyze it and you know really, really make sense of it, okay, they're gonna interpret it that way. Cheers, uh, Evan, man. Cheers, dude. <laughs> Yeah, better call Saul. Exactly, that's Stuart. Stuart is Saul Goodman. <laughs> okay. Let's go to... Uh, let me see real quick. All right, man. Let's go to gold. Disappointing. Very, very disappointing for gold. 
Hmm. Makes me very, very sad. We just had an ascending triangle larger than Jupiter. And uh, just based on the market, look, gold's a safe haven for market crashes, okay? It, it has highest value when there's tumult in the markets, instability. Right now we are inverse instability in the stock market. The longest, most well-established bull trend in the history of the stock market. People in 1928, we're laughing at them now. We're saying we win. We're we got it. Okay, we got the best bull run, not the people before the Great Depression. All right. So uh, that's it, man. Uh, bouncing off horizontal lines of port. We got plenty of those, right? Look left. Oh. Oh, that's right. I'm looking at the, I gotta look at the daily. Sorry. Let's go to the daily. There we go. Okay, gap fill. That's why I did it. Because we had to fill a gap. We came down to fill this gap. Once we filled this gap, we pivoted and ran to the upside. Gap fills. Reversal points, for sure. Filled the gap and busted to the upside, but... Unfortunately, it's just a lower high than our previous highs. A bearish engulfing candle today. That sucks. Bearish engulfing candle, but holding off, the, on, staying above the heart line. But that could change at any time. Look how we gapped up. This gap will most likely fill. So then you're probably going to go to the downside before going to the upside. And, uh, you know, this trend right here is established. So it's been going on really first touch point was back in April so just continuing to sell lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows back to being scrubs on gold just remember gold is a tool for diversification while weathering the storm of recessions or depressions all right and we're not we don't have anything like that right now Hope that helps with the gold. Sorry for forgetting. of DJ Joe Public Man. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. <sighs> thanks again for the uh, 104 people still tuned in this late in the evening. I've uh, been overtime for 25 minutes. Probably should just get out of here. Okay. So I think that's what I might do now. All right. much I like you, man. Learning so much from you. Yeah, but, uh, you feel weird about how much you like me, but you're tipping me $6.90. You know what happens when you tip $6.90? Look what fell in the jar. Look at Verge and look and talk about the partnership they had with Pornhub. Gross. Super gross. Thanks so much for the Verge $6.90. The Jizz Man. Thanks, Evan, man. Really appreciate that. Okay. That's what I'm here for, man. This, this is what it's always been about. You know what it's been about? It's been about trying to help people preserve capital, maybe learn how to read the charts, how to plot, how to use the trading tools, how to use FIBS, Fibonacci, understand everything with this market, okay? That's all it's been about. All this peripheral stuff that's been going on, this drama, I don't want anything to do with it. And the only way to escape all of it is to be on my own channel. There's no other way to escape any of this other stuff. So I can truly be myself, and when I wake up in the morning, I don't, I don't have to say, well, I have to answer to someone else for something. I truly never have to do that ever again, being on my own channel. So the grind is going to be rough and tough, and it's not going to be fun. 
rebuilding subs on a YouTube channel. It's not going to be fun at all. You know, I treat it like I treat it like prestiging in COD, Call of Duty. You had all the guns, all the weapons, and then you said, you know what? I'm prestiging for that badge. So we prestiged. Here we are, back at zero. But you know, 36 hours later, we're at 516 subs. The sub count doesn't matter. Only the subs matter. The people that are part of this community that we've been building for like six months, okay? Those are the people that matter. And that's what this is all about. Y'all. I just read the charts and facilitate the positive environment for everyone to congregate, all right? And I'll leave y'all with that, okay? I'll be back tomorrow, like always. So no, don't fret. So until tomorrow, until the next time the sun comes up, Respect the T A. I thought of you as a friend who can't let go. But when you left, I could feel it go. Like a body of water. Sleeping through the edges of my soul. And getting harder. It was never.